ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट ओके सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट इज गिवन एज वॉट टू ओपन इज गिवन सो दैट इज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वन इज इंटीग्रेटर एंड सेकेंड वन इज डिफरेंशिएटर ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज इंटीग्रेटर सेकेंड वन इज डिफरेंशिएटर एंड इनपुट वोल्टेज इज अप्लाइड एट इनवर्टिंग टर्मिनल ऑफ एन इनवर्टिंग टर्मिनल ऑफ एन इंटीग्रेटर सो सी हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट सो दिस इज माई इंटीग्रेटर नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव एंड दिस इज रजिस्टर एट नॉन इनवर्टिंग ऑफ वॉट हंड्रेड ओम हंड्रेड ओम एंड एट नेगेटिव टर्मिनल इफ यू सी द रेजिस्टेंस इज वॉट हंड्रेड ओम एंड दिस इज माई इनपुट वोल्टेज इनपुट वोल्टेज हाउ मच इज दिस वी आई ऑफ टी हाउ मच वी आई ऑफ टी सो दिस इज वॉट हंड्रेड ओम एंड दिस इज माई कैपेसिटर हाउ मच कैपेसिटर इज ऑफ वन पिको फेरेट वन पिको फेरेट Yes, one pico farad. Now this is followed by what? This is followed by differentiator. <coughs> differentiator. Okay. So this is my differentiator, and this capacitor is again one pico farad, and one pico farad, and resistance is two hundred ohm. So this is one pico farad, one pico farad. Okay. So then, then it is connected to. Negative ter terminal of an O M, and this is what resistance of what two two hundred ohm, and this is what this is resistance feedback resistance how much two hundred ohm two hundred ohm, and here it is output voltage output voltage. Now see this is what one pico farad, and this is two hundred ohm this is two hundred ohm this is one hundred ohm hundred ohm, and one pico farad. Here input voltage is applied at the negative terminal of an O M. Okay, so how much is this? This is about sine hundred pi t. This is sine hundred hundred pi t. Yes, this is sine hundred pi t. I am asking about what is the voltage voltage at the output voltage at the output. Okay, so nothing is mentioned at what for the O M. So we can assume this. Open as ideal. Okay, so the open is ideal. First of all, open is ideal, and see here these both open are ideal. Okay, so both open are ideal. First condition, the both open are ideal. Okay, so first is what both both the open both the open both the open both the open are ideal. Both the open are ideal with ideal with what ideal with Ideal with negative, negative feedback. Yes, negative feedback. Both the open are ideal with negative feedback. Okay, negative feedback. Now see here, negative feedback. Now, can we say this? These both are in what? Both here in both cases. Both case what? Virtual ground concept is valid. Yes, for virtual virtual ground concept. For virtual ground concept. What are the prerequisite? Prerequisite or condition is that the open should be what open should be ideal with negative feedback, and in that case we can say that virtual ground concept is valid. Yes, hence virtual virtual ground virtual ground concept. Yes, virtual ground concept is valid. Virtual ground concept is valid. Yes. Virtual ground concept is valid where where the diode is ideal under where the diode is ideal under negative feedback. See here, this is negative feedback. This is also negative feedback. Both are negative feedback and both are ideal. So hence we can say that what we can say that virtual ground concept is valid here. What is this virtual ground concept? So first of all, see virtual ground concept. If you see in case of virtual ground concept. V positive is equal to what? V negative. Yes. V positive is equal to what? V negative. Means what? Whatever the voltage is at positive terminal, same voltage will appear at negative terminal. Okay. Negative terminal. Okay. So from here we can say that the the gain of what open is ideally what ideally very large in the order of ten to the power six. Okay. Ten to the power six. So in that case, we can say that whatever the voltage that will appear at the positive terminal, same amount of voltage that will appear at negative terminal. Okay. So this is what this is virtual ground concept. Yes. Through this, we are going to solve this question. First of all, see here. 
how much voltage is there so here inside the open now if the open is idle means what gain is very large gain is very large means the current that is entering inside the open is almost what very small in the order of micro ampere yes in the order of micro ampere means we can say that here the voltage is what zero volt yes zero amount of voltage and therefore here is also zero amount of voltage yes zero amount of voltage what is this this is virtual ground concept yes virtual ground concept now we can say here v not one is what v not one is nothing but as we know very well for what for inverting open inverting open output voltage is nothing but minus rf minus rf is how much 1 by sc if you see this 1 by 1 by rsc rsc yes or you can say src src minus rf by r1 into what vi of s yes into vi of s so now see here vi of s so this is my output voltage v not one yes similarly if you see next also here in next bottom here also zero voltage at positive terminal okay so same amount of voltage will appear what at negative terminal and hence we can see here how much voltage is there so this is zero volt okay so therefore output voltage will be equal to what v naught is equal to v naught is equal to minus minus rf rf is 200 200 okay <coughs> RF is 200. So let us say yes, 200. Here also, this R is what 100. So 100, 100 SC, 100 SC, 100 CS. Okay. So this is minus RF by R1. So this is 1 by SC, 1 by SC. So let us for time being, for time being, let us let us say this is my R1, and for time being, let us say this is my R2. Okay. For our convenient purpose. So this is this is one by SC. Yes, into what? Into V not one. Into V not one. So V not is equal to what? Minus SR two SR two C. Yes, SR two C into V not one. How much is this V not is equal to what? Minus SR two SR two C into V not is V not one is how much? So this is this is SR one SR one into C. Yes, into what? Into V naught into V I V I of S. Yes, V I of S. S S get cancelled. C C will get cancelled because both the capacitors have same value, and hence we can say that here V naught is equal to how much? V naught is equal to R two. This is what minus R two by R one. R two by R one into V I of S. Yes, V I of S. How much is V I? V I of we can say V I of T now. Okay. So how much is R2? 200. Okay. So this is what? Negative. Yes. So minus R2. So this is also negative. This this will come positive. Yes. So this is 200 by 100. 100 into this is what? Sin. Sin. Sin 100 pi t. Sin 100 pi t. Yes. 100 pi t. And therefore V0 is equal to what? V0 is equal to 2 sin. 2 sin. 100 pi t yes 100 pi t so the answer is what 2 into sin 100 pi t 2 into sin 100 pi t hence we can say option is correct yes option is correct what is the important point here for this question the important point is nothing but but only the condition that we have applied here that is what virtual ground concept okay because we have what identified first of all that both the open are what both the open are ideal first one first condition is both the open are ideal and second condition is that both are in negative feedback yes both are in negative feedback condition when both of these condition is there so then we can blindly say that what these open are this for this open virtual ground concept is valid okay so what is virtual ground concept that is nothing but the amount of voltage that is at at positive input terminal is same amount of voltage will appear at negative input terminal okay so why because the gain is very large okay in that case the gain of open is very large how much current is 
entry inside the open that is very small in the order of micro ampere okay so which we can ignore and so therefore in this way we can say that virtual ground concept is valid if we see this what gain gain is equal to what gain voltage gain is equal to v naught by what v naught by vid yes v naught by vid vid is what differential input voltage yes difference so this vid is what this vid under what ideal condition is what zero yes this under ideal condition this is zero if v not by v not by some v not by zero means it is what infinite yes this gain is very large so this gain is very large means what this gain is very large so this vid must be equal to zero okay so ideal open means what <laughs> gain is very high gain is very large in the order of mega yes in the order of 10 to the power 6 when it is possible this is possible only when the differential input voltage is zero almost zero means what means both of these positive and negative voltage difference must be equal to zero okay so both the voltage must be equal to zero and in that way we can say that the virtual ground concept is valid okay so this is about this is all about what what virtual ground concept okay and answer is what a this is two sine under pi t yes so so let us say let us see for next question number 39